injury is a little bone between your uh, the middle of your foot. Mm -hmm. Keep from bending mm -hmm. the bone, so that's the only thing I know. You're up on it now. Did you know all that before the injury took place? That's right. I ain't never knew what the best <laughs> Frank injury was. <laughs> so the name of the cafeteria work at your school. Huh? <laughs> yeah. What's it been like coming back from that? It's pretty measuring. I feel pretty good to be back with my brothers on the field working hard. Just blessing to be back. Give it up. Did you uh, did you wonder whenever uh, did did you have any idea that you were looking at such a long you know kind of rehab and everything once you suffered this injury? I knew it was gonna be a long rehab, but hey, you gotta stay positive. So it, in my mind, I had come here, get treatment, work treatment every night, every morning, every day. No skill treatment. So I'm glad to be back in the field with my brother working. What's your expectation about how much you'll be able to contribute this year? Uh, just working, I'm trying to work on it right now. So, hey, I'm trying to see, I'm still trying to practice on my footwork, take all, all that. So, just keep grinding, see what happens. How much is it, Mr. Ron, uh, trying to pace you, I guess, out there? I mean, Kirby was saying he's kind of part time, he was spending with him, mm -hmm. other time you're on the field. Kind of, how was he trying to help you pace uh, you? Me and Mr. Ron been together since uh, spring break. Really? So, yeah, and I've been working with him. He's been working with me, so we've been grinding on my foot. So it's, it took a long time to get back, walking to get back where I was, so it just. Did you ever worry about that? I mean, it seems simple, just, just walking like a normal person. Did that ever concern you? Was that ever an issue for you? Uh, I, I had plenty of service, so mm -hmm. Jake, I had a mindset, come back, be ready. Did they do anything? Uh, that you would categorize as kind of cutting edge or whatever, like a, you know, I mean, you know, you know, freeze your foot or you know, some kind of funky uh, rehab type of thing, or has it just been like running and it's being in the treadmill? And just been in the uh, pool and treadmill pool and just working on my ankle motion and all that. That's the only thing. When did you have uh, a surgery or a procedure on it? Last year in September. I think September at the Vandy game. And after the Vandy game, uh, after, I, don't know, I don't know when I had my series. I didn't know after the Vandy game. When did it happen? In the Vandy? Was it in the Vandy game that yeah. it happened? Oh, so it's kind of a little bit of an end, uh, not really anniversary here. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> what, do you remember what happened? Was it was there something where you instantly knew you were injured, or was it something you just kind of? When I got on the sideline, I sat for a minute, and it just, just got stiff on me. I couldn't walk. So. I do it, it's so wrong. So, so it wasn't that painful in the moment? Like it wasn't one of those things like you knew immediately you were injured, it just kind of built up? Like I knew, like when I stand up and couldn't walk, I knew it, and it's so wrong. Cause I can take pain, I take any injury I, I have, it just, I just couldn't walk, I knew there's something wrong with it. Having gone through a lot, you know, last year, Obviously, and just being an upperclassman, how are you pouring in to the younger guys out there on the field? Um, just helping them uh, with technique, helping them get comfortable in the system. Uh, we just come out every day pushing them harder. They just, they still got a lot of uh, work to do, but they gonna be pretty good. They gonna mm -hmm. help us out this year. You and Malik play the same position, right? Yes, sir. How have you two kind of grown as friends and we, compadres? We've been friends since high school. Yeah. Like in person, we were yeah. rival school. Yeah. So we've been grinding together since high school. We've been working out since high school. So. How much extra special is that for you to work with him? I mean, knowing he's, you know, a lot of ways been kind of following your footsteps for a long knowing, time. Now. Knowing that we play the same position in front of the same little town, like 20 miles in front of each other. So it's great to be playing with him beside him. He just feel great. What's he got to work on to kind of turn that corner now? Uh, he just got to work on taking on blocks. That's yeah. one thing. Yeah. Yes. Have when you gotten enough work so far to think that you can be back to where you were? Because you were playing really well mm -hmm. when you went out. Mm -hmm. Hey, but well, we'll see. I'm working on it now. Hey, practice made perfect. So we'll see next Saturday. Come. Well, how ironic is it going to be? You're going to be facing the team that you got hurt against, and that's going to be your next game against Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. Is that something you thought about much at all? Really, just a team, net team play. So I'm just ready to play. It's been a while, so I'm just ready. Do you know much about Keyshawn Moon, their, their running back, in terms of uh, what he brings to the table? He'll play. He'll a uh, pretty good talent player. The best on the team. He'll good running back. 
you run hard. You, every play you run hard, so you just gotta stick with them, take them block, and uh, fill all gaps. What would you say you're at as far as percentage wise right now? Are you 100 percent? Are you feeling close to it? Well, I'm at so we'll see you next Saturday. <laughs> well, I'm at. Trayvon Walker's a guy who's from the same town, same high school as you are. How long have you known he, that he was going to be a player of this quality, and what have you sort of made out of him this far in his time at Georgia? I've been knowing that since middle school. He was like bigger than me in middle school. Hey, he was good talent, big guy. You don't see too many guys fly around how big he is. He, he was an athlete. He played basketball and all that. He going to be pretty good. He going to help the team pretty good this year. What does it say when Isaiah Wilson is out here really kind of pumping up? Oh, yeah. Trayvon is giving him trouble. What does that say about Trayvon? Do you ever read that? Uh, it's just, um, as we said, we said again. No, I, I said when, when Isaiah says that Trayvon is giving him trouble, what does that say about Trayvon and uh, his abilities? Hey, he just, he's just a good talent player. He just come out with a good mindset, come practice. And I, I tell him every time I'm worried about it, Worry about the freshmen, little talent, little tight talent. Just worry about just coming out and working hard every day. You're several years older than him. Do you remember what, what your what your interactions with Trayvon back home? So when did you first know that who this kid was and that he, he might be a good football player? I've been knowing. He like he like Thompson ain't that big, so it just yeah. a small town. Everybody know each other. We hang around every day. We go playground, play every day. So I've been knowing him since he was a little kid growing up. He's been hanging around with me since I was like in middle school. So have you been able to give him any advice or anything, you know, about playing here? I gave him advice, uh, I tell him wherever you wanna go, just go work. Just don't worry about who in front of you, who in, who uh who you take it on, just come out and work every day. Give it your all. Any more questions? Thanks.